And now new at 4.30, a Waukesha man has been charged with the murder of a woman found dead in a wooded area in Delafield last year. Construction workers discovered the woman's lifeless body near a Gulf Road. CBS 58's Hikari Nakayama spoke to the victim's family and shares with us those tragic details. She was caring, loving, had a no, sense no of humor. Cool. Family identified the victim found in a wooded area near Gulf Road in September of last year as Stephanie Pavlons. Her parents, Georgianne and Richard Pavlons, still reeling from her loss. It's a it's a description that you cannot you cannot just uh, explain. Pavlons was found dead on September 9th of 2022, discovered by construction workers in a wooded area near the Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin around 10:54 a.m. Pavlon's parents last saw her at the end of July, her mother sharing she knew something was wrong after Pavlon didn't respond to a text. When I sent her a text that she had a package here and she didn't respond, and I thought, oh, that's because she always responded. At the time, Pavlon's family says she lived with an on and off again boyfriend named Matthew Paul, who is now facing homicide charges and charges for hiding a corpse in her death. I never thought it would come to murder. According to a criminal complaint, Pavlons was last seen alive at this quick trip, just three miles away from where her body was found. Investigators say on August 23rd, quick trip surveillance cameras showed Pavlons get into Paul's truck before 9 a.m. That same morning, both Paul and Pavlons' cell phones pinged at the same place near Orthopedic Associates, Wisconsin, where Paul had an appointment. Investigators say he arrived at his doctor's appointment at 9.15, but did not check into the appointment until 9.34 a.m. An autopsy determined Pavlons died on that day, August 23rd of last year. Her family say they were told the cause of death was undetermined. Because her bad body was um, so um, decayed. And three days after Pavlon's death, Paul's web history found searches for Pavlon's obituary. Paul was taken into custody September 17th of last year after saying he did not know when the last time he saw Pavlon was. He and Pavlon share a child. She's doing pretty good. She's glad her dad's in jail. And describe what justice would look like for them. Him spending the rest of his life in jail. jail. In Delafield, Yukari Nakayama, CBS 58.